Lagos orders coroner's inquest into death of Bimbo Ogbona. Closure may at least finally come the way of friends and family members of the late Bimbo Ogbona as the Lagos state government has ordered a coroner's inquest to ascertain the cause of death of a woman who allegedly died recently due to severe fire injuries. The state's attorney general and commissioner for justice, Moish Shori Onigbanjo, a senior advocate of Nigeria, who gave a directive, stated that a thorough investigation will be carried out to ascertain the cause of death. In a statement Tuesday, he said, A coroner's inquest has immediately been requested in line with sections 14 and 15 of a coroner's systems law, Laws of Lagos State 2015, to determine the cause and circumstances of death. Section 14, subsection 1, subsection D of a coroner's system law of a state, a report of death shall be made to any of the agencies for the report of death or the office of a coroner and be subject to post-mortem examination where there is reasonable cause to believe that the cause of death was violent, unnatural or suspicious. Section 15, subsection 1 and subsection 9 further enjoins the coroner to hold an inquest wherever he or she is informed that the death of a deceased person was in a violent, unnatural or suspicious situation or believes an inquest is desirable following the report of a reportable death. The commissioner stated that as a government, the security and well-being of citizens are of utmost importance, assuring the public that everything will be done to ensure that the cause of death is known. The findings of this investigation will be made public in due course and appropriate sanctions meted out to anyone found culpable, he noted. The Attorney General also charged the Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency, DSVA, to assist the police and other law enforcement agencies in investigating the case to ascertain the cause of death of late Bimbo Ogbona, who had attracted wide media attention. On her part, the Executive Secretary, Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency, Mrs. Titi Lola Vivo Adeni, also reiterated the state government's resolve to ensure perpetrators of sexual and gender-based violence crimes are brought to face the full wrath of a law. She, therefore, urged residents to report cases of domestic and sexual violence to the DSVA office in Alausa, Ikeja. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe so you can get notifications.